Hey, what's up everybody? Um, I'm going to mod this, soft mod this Xbox and I'm going to try to do it in under 10 minutes. I thought you guys might want to see uh, what it takes to soft mod an Xbox and see how easy it is. I'm probably going to be sending this uh, out to a fellow YouTuber so uh, hopefully he enjoys it. Okay, right now I am uh, copying over the soft mod to my Xbox hard drive. And I just got a message. <laughs> and now I'm going to um, copy the uh, exploit to my um, hard drive as well. Okay, now I'm going to boot up Splinter Cell. Okay, I'm going to click on start game. It sees my save game and, and it's labeled as Linux. And then I'm just going to press A. And it should boot into the SID installer. There we go. I'm going to back everything up first. I need to create an EPROM backup so if the person I'm giving this to wants to put in a bigger hard drive, they can because they need the EPROM and the CD drive key. Okay, now I'm going to move it to the E drive. So if anything happens to my C drive while I'm modding it, um, I'll still have the EPROM and I don't have to redo it. I'm going to back up the MS dashboard so I can uh, dual boot into it. And then I'm also going to create a uh, C drive backup.
Okay, now it's time to install the um, soft mod. I'm only going to select single because um, after I get the exploit put on, I'm going to use Auto Installer Deluxe to install Xbox Media Center and I'll make it dual boot then. I don't know if the person I'm giving this to has a um, HD or RGB, so I'm just going to... Actually, I'll just do standard for HD. I'm pretty sure he has HD. I'll select Unleash X because I like that dashboard, but it's only going to be there for about a minute or so. Okay, the Xbox is soft modded, um, but like I said, I'm going to change the dashboard and put a virtual C drive on it and uh, install some emulators for the person. There you go. Time to put in Auto Installer Deluxe. I'm using version 4.5. And it doesn't seem to be reading my CD, so let's find out here what's going on. We're going to continue where we left off. go. Auto Installer Deluxe takes a little bit of time to load. Here it comes. Okay, I already have a backup of everything, so I'm going to... Um, do a soft mod, one click install. I'm going to do a single boot with Virtual C. Um, I decided not to do the dual boot um, because it's really not needed. But I am doing the Virtual C, so in case he decides to make backups of his games, that it will uh, not overwrite the default kernel and undo the soft mod. I'm going to install the Xbox Media Center because that's my favorite dashboard. There we go, it's all set. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Xbox Media Center is installed, the soft mods installed. Now it's just time to uh, set up the emulators. Um, Auto Installer Deluxe has an option to install emulators, so I'm going to go ahead and do that as well.
just need to set up the uh, path to the emulators unless Auto Installer Deluxe already did it for us. Nope. Got to add the source. Here we go. Here's all of our emulators. The Xbox is set up um, for all your emulation needs.